Oh. Wow, that was a fun start. Amazing start. Amazing funny start to everything. Uh, do, do, do. Hello, Freezy. Hello, Ticonderoga. Hello, Cuban. Hello, Torvar. Hey, work a little harder. I am working hard right this second. Ow. Fucking don't throw Axel at me. No. What? Why did everything shit itself? Everything basically shat itself as soon as the nut came out. Hold on. Because. They're just. Hmm. I don't want to. Yeah, I know. Let's see something here. Yeah, for some reason, there's like. Uh, hmm. Way. I need to see something. I wonder if there is a way to clear. Hmm. A way to just clear shit. I just wanted to see if I can write this second clear thing. Uh, because I played the Rip and Chili God Sushi card game, which. Huh? 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 Is there a way just to clear? Arcade track and research card. Two. Now, I, I, I'm going to try to clear out some of the thing. Oh god, maybe I'm going to have to reset this. Okay, everyone, it is time to make sure y'all pray that OBS doesn't crash. We're at that moment of the night, right? It's pretty early on in the night. It, it is time to make sure that OBS doesn't crash. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, every, everything's good. Everything's good. OBS didn't crash. Holy fucking shit. I don't have to sit here and just be like, okay, video actually starts now. <laughs> All right. Side question. Ah, Clive. Just a man I was hoping to see. Oh? And why is that? You remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akashic attacked? Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all, but we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build them a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And I didn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately. Coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a... 
Sure. It's no burden. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool? It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. A band of cutthroats have made it their death. Oh boy. Nasty bastards they are too. I've lost Bandits. some good men to their raids. Would have sent someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made... I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't I just go in there and just beat out the bandits? It'll just be easy for me to, to, to go in there and just eat the bandits. Back to Eastpool then. Not just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. So Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool <coughs> and make it your own. <laughs> That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us. Not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers. Men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them. And I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place in... I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bat. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any... Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk you'll see. Akashic... No, it's fine. Risk. Well, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You... All right. We shall see you there. Beat side quest. Beat... So once you beat them off, they'll be too tired to... Yeah, exactly. It's easy to kill after you beat someone off. Because they're too, um, tired from the beat off. Kill them! You will leave this place or face the consequences. Well, I don't know why you keep on thinking that's something that happens in this game, Crazy. That's why I'm gonna turn this down. I swear, every time I get into actual combat. That's the end of that then. Slime. Or maybe not. Doing here doesn't matter, it goes too. Huh. Nice try. Oh, come on. There it is. I was almost it was almost dead There we go Hello TK
Well, it's dead now. And that's all that matters. Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Dex! Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Some time later. Wow, a village oh. all of... <laughs> Without masters. No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them, and not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't How be the easy, bearers were created? No. After five years of we haven't gotten to that point yet. No we place. don't know why some people the are born with the ability to use enough, magic. But half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried, if you don't mind. I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. Of course. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrives. If you need anything more. And we will, my lord. Eastpool lives again. Let's go and tell Martha the good news. E. Okay, cool. I guess we have to go back to Martha. Talk to her. And then hopefully... Ah, there you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is you did it. And you did it, Clive. Village. I suppose it will be. What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. No There's reason to rename bad it. Happened to that place. But that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Not do it. Say that? Fuck the baby. Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need. The... Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. I wanted to. Yeah, let's just move on because I'm kind of like sitting going, God, why are there so many side quests? Why are they all popping up right at the end of the video game? Or near the end of the video game? All right. We did that. Okay, we did those. Lost Wing, which I assume is more of the plot that we were just doing with Lost Wing. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need. You know what you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Uh, we're we part, closer to the end. To I wouldn't say we're at no, the end, the end. Your most vocal ally. But as we get closer and closer to the you. end of the game, it feels like your predecessor. we're you. getting more and more side quests. I appreciate the sentiment. And I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the I don't one know. I found. And it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lost Wing? Everything you've built. I built Lost Wing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. 
children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for... And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? But they might live even should Lostwing die. I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who... The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shield... Understood. Then the last of my preparations, and may Grieger guide us. Come then, brother. We are awaited in Goten's Bales. I will say that as even though the, this game has had towns, none of them have really felt like actual hubs. And I think that's kind of what sucks about having um, one centralized hub is that none of the towns can actually be like towns. Like you, you do things with them and there's a couple of side quests for them, but you're never staying and exploring the towns as much as you can. Mm, vote for creams. You don't have it. It didn't show up. Hello, Maverick. Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end, that we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! Oh no. You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just a black shield protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die. Oh no. We can't let this happen. Sid, don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right, I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? It's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Oh, hey, it's that area that I went to, and I was like, what does this place be? Okay, it's, yes, this thing right here. What's the shortest path then? I guess Dragon's Airy? Faster! What was the bad... Was the bad dragon ever safe? What? What do you mean? You mean the dragon that I fought for the hunt? No, we, we killed it. Are you talking about something else? Oh, oh! That guy, that guy, that guy. He's still in the bed in, um, at the hideaway, asleep. Clive, look. No, don't tell me we're too late. Beam. Quinton, are you all right? No, but no! I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. 
They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. Oh. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. That is no new god. Hold on. I, once again, I need to turn this down just a little bit. hit the the ignition but i guess i didn't it's over oh it doesn't matter it's dead you can't see the monster but it's dead hello jadoski Is it over? This is. Okay, so I guess we never see, get to see the guy. And begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear. Bam! So I, <laughs> I just realized all the blood. Years, <laughs> all my plans. Building a haven in Lostwing. Freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You, you're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I. I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. What do you it's mean? It's lost wing. It's been flooded. What? Also, hello, Spencer. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? No. Don't be a fool. Why didn't I? Pretty sure that. Yeah. Okay. You're just going to die. But it's not going to last long in there. Then we finish this quickly. Stay down. Farewell. Oh no, more.
Come on. Not attack. At very least attack. Shit. The motherfucker's attack bike was out of the hey, way. Work a little harder. Look, Mega Flare takes a while to build up, okay? Unless you do funny dodges. And I don't have enough funny dodges. Jesus. They just keep coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. And they never stop coming. Ah. Uh. No, I don't want that one. I want this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed there isn't any um, chocobo breeding in this game. Oh, well. Maybe in 17. I need to find Quentin. 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 Look at me. Thank the founder. Hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Some time later. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? It's lost. Blood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, haven't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed and I prayed and you did. There's got to be a reason. Child voice right? acting. Can't we just go back to how it was? Shut up, Maverick. You know, Every time I pull it up, it becomes worse when I you fucking get into combat, you, Maverick. We believed that you were the right man to That is us, the problem. It's the problem of if I put it up here. Well, y'all can kind of hear it. Lost. What ends up happening as soon as I get into but combat, everything aren't. becomes so way long as worse. You to guide them. But why? After what I. Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village, it was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing. Right here in the Bales. Huh. 
a fresh start. One life ends and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns, a nation even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. Hangman signboard. I am not playing. I probably won't have the ability to stream Todd's game. I don't have a good enough PC and I don't have the money for the new motherboard or a good C a GPU. A new missive. Okay, but it doesn't matter because it ain't a. Uh, and one of those, but there might be a new hunt. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Scam? No. <laughs> yep, there's a new one here. The man in black. The greater part of the black shields of the spiny and lost wing were taken by the Aether Flood. However, we receive reports that one yet survives. A zealot of their evil cause that who persists in delivering any bearer who strays too close to his hiding place to gruesome death. So he's somewhere around Sembreak. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and and everything a promised? gift? All yours. Talisman of Priming. In close, you'll find that I'm a high end and strange order, one for which I require neither thanks nor re recompense. Consider a reminder of whose loyalties are best placed, the Chapman. I'm assuming that after. when I get to 515, this one will be the last set. Maybe. Actually, I should look at my fucking equipment. I'm not using heat wave as often. Increases line tonic duration by 30 seconds. Uh Wicked Wheel Flares. How do I yeah, you know what? Let's sort. Uh Defense Clerics Medallion. Breath of Fire. Ignition. Or, hmm. Do that. Is there one for... Lightning Rod? Yeah. That should be... That should be good. Okay, back to the other place again. Because there's this one motherfucker some hiding somewhere around here. I wonder. Oh yeah, we can adjust the volume. I forgot to adjust this volume. So that's probably half the problem.
Okay, so this probably here. Because they said he was near Lost Wing. I just gotta realize how to get over there. I remember. Okay, it won't be that way. Oh, it was probably in that fucking... In this building. And then through that back passage. Okay, what the... Do you have a... What? A what? Why are you weird? So... Why y'all that way? This is just... What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I guess this this needs to be You know what? Never mind. I'm not even going to can I'm not even going to not even going to Holy trumpeter Okay, that should be better. <laughs> Bring out your bearers! Let me Ooh. and my mortar purge them of their sin! <laughs> You'll regret doing my mother's bidding. Nice try. <laughs> You fucker, come back here. Pull your ass down. I say, come on, motherfucker. Put him right there, right where I need him to be. Nice try. Whoops. He was still going. He was still going. Another hunt done. Your work here is done. All right. That should be it. Though I should go to the hideaway and it, uh, it, it, get blah, 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 buy shit before I go into the next area. Before we do the next actual stage. This stage of history. Hmm? 
Let me tell you a story, Clive. All right. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition <coughs> I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest dam. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. All I wanted to do Still was alive, buy some I shit know. and then you gave me a, a, a sob story. Oh wait, no. I guess I can go ahead and sell whatever those are. Um... Potions. You're not fond of my potion. Shut up, bitch. Mm, I don't want to use Finished, that revive. I know that will. I. So what do I owe the honor? What's saying for you, dear? Anything that I can really do. None that I really care for. Anything else? Did you see the pet? All right. The free city of Canver. Hello. Is she me? Actually, no, we're done with side quests. At least for now. Sounds like thunder. We already did the hunt, Freezy. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most at time? Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. She's the. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. 
Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district. Well, you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Even fall. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. Wolf, wolf, bark, bark. They don't stand a chance against those things. Man, this place reminds me of so much of Dalmasca. Well, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to use it right away. It's over. I guess that's fine. They're wearing one loot armor. You know what? Two is five. Why did you teleport? I didn't want you to teleport. Yeah, I can blow it. Hmm. You don't want to get too... Sp hmm. Oh. Okay. It kind of... No, no. It, it has a very Dalmaskin look from... Um, 14. Like if you go and look at like how it looks like in 14, maybe it was just the lighting across that bridge. Like kind of reminded me a little bit of that. Whoops. Honestly, I shouldn't have done that. But eh, fuck it.
Yeah, I'm gonna turn this back down a little bit. Because it's still bopping. Hate doing this. This effects volume here. Probably like. I put this at 50. Maybe that will help, and maybe none of that will actually affect the cinematics. Oh god. We'll just, we'll just wait, wait it out, wait it out. There we go. Actually, having both the the will of the whisk thing on as well as um ignition does seem to do a good bit of damage as well Enough. will of the wisp oh 14 yeah what happened to not the Delmas, not the There's one in um 12. 12 is much more earthy what i'm saying is i don't doubt they've imported some things from 14 into this game just to kind of offset it might help if the sky wasn't fucking cloudy as shit Ever find grapes? We found grapes. We just never found the grapes that are um, low poly. There ain't no low poly grapes here. Too slow. Oh, what a shame. There we go. Stay right there, yeah. Right there. Right there between the fucking tornado and the fucking um, lightning rod. Even the dogs are dead. I don't want casting. Yeah. 
Uh, honestly. Hmm? Well, it depends upon the rating. S, hunt, S rank hunts are supposedly the hardest. And they're definitely designed around that. So That's when they're big. like C or B, Joshua and Jill must be busy. They're, they're not as hard. It's a big guy. He's already halfway back down uh, on this fucking uh, Never mind This is the Agora. He's just getting stun locked There may still be survivors inside No, sadly, Clive, I don't think there's anybody left alive in here. Where are they? Oh, hey, mini boss arena. These creatures. Does Ultima's reach extend this far? What the hell is going on here? Farewell. All right, you know what? This. Man, I assume Odin is next. Not because of any kind of thing I've seen, but just because we don't know anything about who may or may not be Leviathan. Where is your master? And we did want? get to see Barnabas in that last cutscene. Well, the one that happened right before um we stopped last night. I really hope. Farewell. Now that was easy. You've caused quite the commotion. Oh. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were I think it was the child. And now you're here with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled.
I am Sleipnir of House Harvard. And you will yield! Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Oh god. gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with in regards to certain things Wait. Forgive me if my performance mm. seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Muthos. Yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll just charge right straight into him. So much is going on. Oh wait, no, that won't this. Enough? Would you not agree? Actually, what's he doing? Oh, I might want to sit back and start building up Bahamut's. Come on. Hmm. I fucked that up too much. I am missing the timings on this. Nice try. Yeah, 
to enjoying yourself too slow Back to this one again. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. That's all ready. Shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. Sometimes Unga strats fucking work. How much healthy ass? are going to happen he was either going to die or he's going to get stunned and then i will die what's bahamut do you need to huh what's bahamut do you what do you mean if you're talking about like the bahamut stance all i have to do is dodge shit until like i build up to four, level four mega flare and then everything rains down and it's kind of neat hmm what do you do this strong. special the the fucking like of level four mega flare which kind of is helpful when you my leash it's kind of helpful when you're doing that plus you know you have the lightning rod out plus will of the wisp plus that fucking tornado because guess what every single one of those is hitting the lightning rod and it's just adding up so much damage And stun. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back.
virtuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. <laughs> Stop calling me Muthos. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Try it. is all the rest. Joshua! I'll have two number nine power beyond the range. Number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, breaking the bed, number forty five, Bre one with cheese, breaking the bed for something just to make sure that y'all stop with the fucking noises. God damn. Anyways, hello Galaxy, hello Sean, hello Monsako, hello Butters, hello, I guess that's everybody. Oh, and I guess, oh wait, no, 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 there is one. Uh, Saucy Pup who did less party, so yeah, 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 welcome in. Fucking, I'm much further along than David Dev are in 16, so... Like, I feel like I'm at like 70% of the game, 75%. Dev is fat. Yes, he is, TK. Yes, he is. Will he be all right? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm a gecko. I'm the rest is up I to him. don't know what I am outside of a, liz a lizard. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. Yeah, we already but had the point where such... Barnabas whooped Clyde's ass, that which is, is a weird cutscene. Because it is kind of this it thing of, damn, want Clive. They don't want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No, 
Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad'll have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. That is Mid, that is his daughter. You can't ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. That's not Luna Freya. Lu oh, so Luna Freya is kind of fucking stupid 15 you all are talking about luna frame she does nothing she does a lot of nothing and they were going to make her do things in dlc but then that never happened a song of hope this ain't in walker um anything important no there doesn't seem to be anything but it does seem to be more right. hunts Gav said that Otto might know something. Of course he won't mind. Fucking Sid's dead. <laughs> Cole said it was an army of Akashi. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling uh. with it? Okay, what kind of hunt do you have? Oh, Chocobo. Dr Dread Comet. Oh boy. The hunters of Tabor speak of wild chocobo that haunts not only the nearby badlands but also their dreams. For exhibits of ferocity rarely seen in the species and ripped down more than a dozen other comrades from gizzard to groin and feasted on their flesh. The bird is far past taming. It must it needs it must needs to be put down. Yeah, okay, I know what that is. That thing's gonna start summoning meteors. Can I go right this second? The sickle. Um which should be this place right here so it's probably best to 
go from the jaw uh the point is where he's... yeah it kind of does doesn't it <laughs> Good That's God. the moment where they Boston. truly ran out of money. It is Final Fantasy Tactics, a 3D game. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that one of the people, either the director of this game, not the producer, um, or someone within the team actually worked on Tactics. Because I do know that the guy who works on Tactics does work at the 14 team. Since he did a bunch of stuff, including the the 24-man raid in no, um, did a 24-man raid in Stormblood, another entire storyline in Shadowbringer. All right. Both of them involving um, Dalmasca, Ivalice, and like characters from that type of shit. Uh, like five prior to Freya's. You're just four bros gone up row after Freya dies and one of begun dry. She's. Yeah. It, it really died. Dead. Oh, Gigas. It it's really indeed. fucking dead. Now that's the Cattery. Hmm. Maybe over here? No, that's just goblins. No holding back. Walud has. The movie? Are we talking about the fucking Final Fantasy 15 movie? The one that's a prequel that is like a bunch of nothing? Because I didn't watch the fucking anime. But I will sit back and say, when you sit Be back safe. and you have to have other content to flesh out the story, it kind of fucking sucks. The Final Fantasy XV movie that doesn't actually have Noctis in it, it doesn't really... That, I don't remember Luna Freya being in... Like oh yes, I guess she was in that one. Something tells me it won't be easily broken. Nice try. But once again, if you have to use other media to kind of showcase like a character characters being in love or whatever, that ain't good media. Nice try. Uh, just keep coping. Nah. A small break. No, I'm. Look. Most people are not going to read every single piece of expanded universe bullshit when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I'm being honest. Like, it's not like fucking, um, it's not like god dang, um, Kingdom Hearts where, oh yeah, there's multiple games and not every single one of them are a, um, oh, come on, that, oh, I'm, fuck. Come on. Nice try. I keep on hitting it too early. No good. Are you? Okay. How long is this meteor rain going to last? Okay, it's done. It is finally over. The rain is finally done. Yeah. Too 
There we go. Nice try. Side quest. Well, right now I'm doing hunts. It dead. Fuck. God. Comet feather. Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. Petorgal. <laughs> I knew they had to have a fucking red chocobo like thing. In this game there was no way after all the fucking gar garbage of dealing with chocobos that summon fucking meteors all the weird ass questions they ask you when <laughs> you donate blood they ask shit like whose blood is that and why is it in a bucket bro just take the blood uh hunts are side content they are basically you know how in final fantasy 14 there's like optional like Hey, you go to this little daily quest thing that has like you hunt down certain monsters and sometimes they're one single like monster. Yes, that. Uh, let's see here. Mastering this just puts it at, yeah, launch assignment to any icon. Hmm. Let's see, is there anything that I really could do? I guess I can master this. Just start moving some stuff to other places. I've been using that a lot. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Not yet, anyways. All right, so that's fine. Back to the map. Back to here. Can it fly? I don't know. The the chocobo? The chocobo does the um just summons meteors. <laughs> like legitimately, red chocobos have been a thing in fourteen in which all they do is constantly summon Hi, meteors. It's a dangerous world out there. I don't know. Hey, That's the problem. I don't know if Leviathan is going to make an appearance. You're rubbing me blind. They talk know. about how there's hey, eight icons, idea. but Leviathan is the one that we have not seen. Because there's still an icon of water. I'm going to charge magic spells and maintain the charge until cast. Hmm. Increases limit back generation until damage. Increases limit things. Earn experience. I don't feel like doing that. Um. You know, what? let me get a couple You'll of these. Might as well spin some of the gill on the orchestral stuff. Hmm. Really. I, d I haven't seen okay so far there is Clive is mostly Ifrit so he transforms into Ifrit there's the Phoenix which is Joshua Garuda which Benedicta had uh Ramu which was Sid uh Titan which was uh who Hugo Kupka and Bahamut who was Dion I know Shiva's in the game somewhere. Shiva, well, Shiva is Jill, but I'm not sure if you get her abilities. And then there's Odin. The only thing left is Leviathan. Oh god, hold on. Um. I don't think they wouldn't put him in the game. 
but it does seem kind of odd that no one has been Leviathan. Let me help. I know my no Moogle and Chugapo? There's a Moogle. Shiva is who again? The ice? Yes, Shiva is ice. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Let's give Hippocrates knowledge. Oh, we're almost if at six. Have a question for me, Where is I it? should be happy to answer it. I guess it would be in the best Yeri. Okay, maybe not. Because now we have Ifrit Risen. So Ifrit the Phoenix, Ifrit Risen, Shiva, Ramu, Garuda, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. But... Where would it be? It would probably be in Mysteries of the Realm, right? Where... Icon. Um... Magical being is godlike strength to drill in a human host known as dominance, only merging with the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with unique elemental affinity. One warden of each fire, water, uh, thunder, ice, wind, earth, light, and darkness. The common belief that two icons of the same element cannot coexist was shaken by the appearance of the second icon of fire during the Imperial attack on Phoenix Gate. So there's one of water, but we just haven't seen him. You are always welcome, Clive. Yeah. I mean, there's so many f different icons, but one of them, one of the things about this game was they wanted a game in which if Ifrit, which is one of the oh, first, gets to be kind of like king shit How are we supposed to do our king shit and done correctly unlike the fucking time they did it in 15. Why the hell is everyone else don't tell me they're all right but it's a long story you lot don't do things by halves do you well at least everyone's still breathing now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be sitting under a pile of rubble. I know. If it was so oh, beautiful, why didn't they finish the game? To save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. They did read the manga movie and light novel. That's not finishing the game. That's not the game. Also, no, they didn't actually finish the fucking story. They fucking was going to have two more DLC things after episode Ardent, and then they canceled it. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Miz. When they release a book talking about the story was going to be about. <laughs> yeah, to be about. And even oh. then, the What's fact that you have to use something else to finish the story, like a book, is stupid. If you can't tell a self-contained story within the 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 container and have to do oh well well shit we need um we, we need to here's an anime prequel that sets up this and here's this and like number one they ran out of fucking time you know I'm trolling Jesus 
I know, but fucking goddammit, I have never seen anybody defend 15, and I'm going to get mad. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, dude. Ah, uh, middle, uh, middle. I know you like your riddles, so I'll keep as you appreciate this one. Of my inventions, this one's the best. So when I choosing its place of the rest, so I recall your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on the last rhyme. Good luck. See, the first two thirds shit. of the game are fine because it's a weird kind of mid open world game where you you're just kind of going on an adventure and doing things within the open world and then it just narrows itself down and it ran out of money and you can tell it ran out of fucking money is that girls that fell in love with the story no they're girls and they want to fuck the main characters like legitimately a game like final fantasy 15 attracts women because there's four male main characters well did you find anything possibly you wouldn't happen to know what mid i do hope opus was opus that girl's as tone deaf as a banshee unless you mean the orchestrion she couldn't have been more than what 11 12 when she cobbled that thing together it surprised us all not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? You know about the... So, yes! I know about the story that they wrote, the bridge X3, about how Titus kicks a landmine thinking it's a blitz ball and blows himself up. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are cold? They were like... They were people here. No, I'm just... I'm pointing out... I. It's always funny to me about what attracts, like, what do you make to attract fucking female gamers? And it's like, oh, I can't be Final Fantasy 15. There's, there's no women characters. It's just a bunch of bros being bros. And it's like, sometimes that's what women want. Sometimes that's exactly what the women want. They want, like, they want, like, four guys and they want to see them. And it, it doesn't matter if they're bro bros being bros or if it gets a little gay. In fact, it might be good if it gets a little gay because you get the yaoi fangirls and that shit. But, like, for some... All it takes... All it takes... All it fucking takes... It is making good characters. <laughs> and that that's that's the funny part of it. Four guys, why not five? I'm sorry, that's that's when it becomes a little no! overkill. That's not why girls love Kingdom Yes, it's exactly why girls love Kingdom Hearts. Fucking girls like Kingdom Hearts because you can do Sor you can talk about Sora or Riku I or fucking knock uh uh Relative the Roxas or things like that. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. What's wrong with it? It's broken. <laughs> Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. No. Young Xehanort. No. Yes, Ben Diskin's best role. Outside so of um Eric button. fucking Sparrow. too well all right out of the way no no love for you <laughs> it's not that it's no love it's just like i like to sit back and point out that ben diskin was those characters also joseph joestar <sighs> something caught on one of the gears did you break it can you fix it no, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never a 
this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Yeah, I completed the quest. Uh, Axel is Axion or Demix or Terror or Ventus or yeah. I play King. The time FF15 made me the most angry mm -hmm. is when they released on Steam, and the first shot of the fucking trailer in Steam is flying car. Now, that is false advertisement. Okay, it's not technically false, it's just that it's so many hours into the game. As in, just it is all the way for. at the end, uh -huh. like, end of, like, the, that two-thirds point. Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. When you just do everything. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails... A lot of it is a combination of a couple things. One, it's pretty much the combat combat ends up being not as great I waste here. one of the things the of the flagship sales i have to get back one of the things legitimately is there's not really that many iframes on dodges and there's not really many tells to attacks on enemies so when it comes down to kind of it being action based doesn't really work out then there's the summon issue which is just all right clive blackthorn told me you helped him out oh again. it's this again it's for that. then there's the issue of the summons where summons are kind of just okay summons in these games in this game is like specific fights in in 15 is you take enough damage and then they automatically trigger except that some summons the summon is random though it depends upon from place to place um so yeah do you have any system with king i actually kind of like kingdom hearts the the combat is just 15 yeah this the combat is not from this game it is not there there's some there's better stuff in this combat work there's one too strong and it is a bunch of them and it's, uh you forgetting the fact that 15 was just first and third yeah no i'm not forgetting that part like i'm not even talking to, like when i talk about 15 i'm not bringing up versus 13 because it's pretty obvious that it is not versus 13 like versus 13 doesn't exist anymore it's 15 is not versus 13 they're two separate things that team basically started two years before 15's launch and made a game on that fucking luminous engine an engine that will never be used again from what it seems like speaking of which i'm actually a bit um Worried about him. So I, I don't even bring up versus advice. 13 in right, this so entire conversation. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a versus 13 King Hearts 4. The way everything is working it. out, it might so, be. Obviously, I show it to Blackthorn thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. 
try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... Okay, time to do this again. again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving oh. him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. Honestly, All right. I, I mean, I'm still at the change. point where you I think Final ready. Fantasy peaked in the PlayStation 1 era. As much as I love 14 and things that happened in 14 and how much I actually am enjoying this game, Final Fantasy did peak at around... Um, did peak at... Um, I'm going to assume that we are just now goddamn oh that's another battle quest place isn't it okay no it's all centered around here um i think it peaked in ps1 ps2 had a, a good cup i've never played left Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. No. no it remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps mm -hmm. to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is... I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. <laughs> Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret. I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, and I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Okay, so, so now that we're out of that, uh, I have played Tactics 1. Or Tactics Advance 1, not Tactics 1, Tactics on PSP. Uh, I, I still need to get around to playing both Tactics Ogre and Tactics. Honestly... Why is every story with Blackthorn? I feel inadequate. Give me penile enhancement. Because every single one is called Blacksmith's Blues. But anyways, um, what was I going with? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we're back to side quest. 12 I'm fine with because it's kind of an extension of Ivalice with like tactics and stuff like that even if it's own its own separate thing 13 is the one that I have problems with because I just don't like 13 one day I might go through it to talk about why 
Because I played all of 13 and about like a portion of 13 too. Never touched Lightning Returns, though I've heard actually some good things about Lightning Returns. Just not the story, just more or less the combat. 13 was trash. Lots of people don't like 13, and I can kind of go over the reasons why. That combat ends up becoming so automated, because if you're buffing yourself in that game, you are not making reactions quick enough because all the combat is still the atb stuff from older you know uh, generations that you're you're not you're not going to do it well enough it is better just to start hitting the fucking auto it's like make sure everybody gets buffed and then do auto it becomes a very very meshy thing and like the vast majority of that game is walking in a straight line without like in an action game it makes sense especially how like this game is set up where hey all the little action stages are a straight line because that's how combat works but within an rpg when you're getting into random battles and every time you're doing a random battle Oh god, I, I, I don't want to start that here. I don't want to start that here. Because going over 13 requires people seeing 13 and like how it's like handled. And that's not even getting to story. That's not even getting to story. 14 is an MMO and I think it really started getting better. Like I like Heaven's Word. I like uh, Shadowbringers. I, I'll still put up with Stormblood. I, I like that entire thing. 15 has its own different problems. I don't know where I've seen it. It's... 13.2 improves stuff. 13.2 improve things to a point where I go, Okay, so you made it so that there's random battles. You improve some stuff with the combat that I actually had problems with. Oh. It'll all be over soon. That guy's dying. She can't keep glory to Griga. Yeah, it's it's not a moment If I ever soon. do it, I can show What's through happened? 13. Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. It's really weird because the arrival of her latest patient She's the most enjoyment I kind of got out of 13 was getting to chapter 11, where you finally get the game opening up. What I say is the worst character in 13. It's really hard for me to say because I can either go with hope. I can go with hope. Because that is like the default answer where I really don't like Hope when he's like. I get it. He's a teenager. I get it that he blames Snow for his mother's death. I will never get over the fact that Hope sat back and was acting like his father didn't care. And then you get to Hope's father, and like he just starts bawling his eyes out, learning everything. Also, Hope's dad is totally dead. I fucking Hope's dad is totally. God damn it. There's a point in 13, too, or 13, in which the, the whole point is everybody who gets in contact with uh, a lessee, the, the, the people who are marked, um, are, are taken in because fucking game spats shit um so they all go to hope stats house and then they are kind of tracked down by whatever soldiers there are and like they make their escape with the help of i think it was fang and sid but they don't tape hope's father with them Hope's father gets to stay there and you never see him again. And I have, I have it just like, I'm just in there thinking Hope's father is dead. 
Oh's father is fucking dead, and they kill them. They land. They, they let the him FF die. Thirteen. Open up FBI. God. War crimes on civvies. Uh. Never mind that the entire plot of Final Fantasy XIII is to basically sacrifice all life on this planet to summon God again. But it's like, what's the point of summon your, summoning your God again? Hope, hope is a boy. Yeah. Now, if you ask me who's the FF best... thirteen level locking your characters behind story yes, progression was shit. I 100% the game, and the hardest optional content was the worst case of blue balls I ever had. That's it too. It's it's this thing of, by the time you, you go through the chapters, you fight every single enemy in this straight fucking line. And by the time you get that, you're, you're fine on the bosses. And by the time you beat the chapter, it opens up the next leveling select. By the time you by the time you get to the boss, you have pretty much leveled up your entire tier, and you beat the boss, and then you fin basically finished your tier, and then the game goes, okay, now here's your next sphere grid thing. It's it's just you know what the best character in that game is Saz. You know what? I, I, I know we were talking about the worst character, but the best character in that game is Saz. I always feel bad for Saz. E -uh 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 -uh. I feel bad for Saz. I always do. Yeah, the the guy with the chocobo in his hair. Saz, 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 Saz is just there. Saz is just there, and I feel bad for him because his entire thing is that his boy, his son... Is marked as a lessee, and that's part of the, the the his entire thing. Yeah. Yeah, he is. God. One day I, I'm going to go through that thirteen. I I, I want to give thir like just like eight. Like I stopped playing eight, but I'm willing to go back and give eight another chance. I still feel like if I get to 13, I will still hate its moments. Or like, sorry, if I get back to 13, I'll still hate the things but that are Sarah, in 13. You want to clap them chocolate in the <laughs> cheeks. I don't care about Sazer's son. I don't care about any characters in 13. Got it. What? You don't, you don't care about um, lightning and like the fact that she doesn't like snow because snow wants to, to fuck um, lightning's sister, little sister. Vegas can't be the chooser. <laughs> the story of eight gets stupid at a certain point, but it's not it's not the story of eight that I hate. It's the it's the mechanics of eight that I really don't like. Snow was the guy he he is kind of the quote unquote revolutionary guy. He is the guy on the train that decided to, to start fighting back. Which inspires Hope's mom to also fight back. And uh, Hope's mom was like, it's fine, Hope. Mom is, moms are strong too. And then she died. And then that's why Hope hates fucking Snow and wants to kill Snow. Because in the, re in the fighting back against the go government? Religion? Religion government? It's like, oh, her mom dies. His mom dies, so he hates Snow. Even though his mom would have died anyways. Along with himself. Do I like Snow? No, I don't care enough for Snow. Xavier explained the full story to me. The, the full story of Final Fantasy XIII is told... In flashbacks, they don't really tell you... Okay, you know how this thing has this, the active lore events? Like, if you don't know something, you can pause during the thing and it will tell you a thing. A lot of 13's backstory is that. And they drop a bunch of terms on you, but instead of having the active lore bit, or... How do I put this? They introduce terms like Lassie and Falsy without really giving them uh, an entire explanation. 
versus like you can maybe discern a few things but the story is kind of told out of order a bit where it's like characters are on the train but you don't know, really know why they're on the train and then some characters start fighting back and then every now and then there's a flashback to like things that happen up to this point and it's told in a weird order <sighs> makes the world very very surreal worlds uh, yeah it's it's kind of this thing of you need to kind of it's kind of hard to understand what Cocoon was and what Pulse was until they specifically showed me what Cocoon is and what Pulse is. Where PS 13 takes place on Cocoon, which is an artificial hollow world that's a that is in orbit around well not even in orbit. It's just above pulse which is the planet where everybody is technically from but by the time you get to pulse there's nobody actually living there how is it bad again <sighs> hey let's do this side quest i feel i i know i feel i feel like i should just stop <laughs> So hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Well, spot her not understand her again. If that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. I fucking hate. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. At very least, I, I I knew who the bad guy of Final Fantasy XIII was and why he was doing what he was doing, even though it was kind of stupid you? in the end. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, they separate snow from you for about half of the game just so you can have whiny child fill a rock for hours and hours until it culminates in child tackling snow off a roof and the entire arc disappears pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it kind of just disappears. Oh yeah, now now when I think about it, Final Fantasy XIII is another game where there's Ifrit, and Ifrit is actually important. God damn it! We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them. We've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. 13 and 19. Ah, God. 
God, a 15 stream is going to be weird because I I played 15 at launch. In fact, I have my day one edition of 15 over there. And thanks to the that um, PlayStation Plus thing that you got with, when if you bought a PS5 at a certain point in time, um, you got some some shit. I do have access to Royal Edition. He's a surly soaker. I have never touched the DLCs in 15. I have never touched, which means I've never done episode Prompto, Gladius, and um, Ignis. Nor have I done uh, episode Ardbert or the multiplayer thing, which is also kind of part of the story. <laughs> Sid. Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I, I could sit there the and probably root, get through the game. But they rarely flower. But the DLCs the are going to be something new. However, for me. I believe I have How can you hit a 15 if you didn't play the DLCs? I'm going to marry them. Because I think I'm going to say it. I think it's still funny how every single character leaves to go be in their own DLC. I think it's funny that Gladius just leaves the party for about like two hours just to go do his DLC and then comes back for the DLC. It was explained in the DLC. No, Gladius' stuff, Prompto's stuff, and and the fucking Ignis stuff. Prompto, especially. All of that stuff gets expanded upon... All the stuff in the game gets expanded upon in the DLC, but that's not the version of the game that I played. I played the thing without the DLC. But then there's Ardent, and Ardent was supposed to be the last of that shit. <laughs> He became stronger and a man. Every single character had their own, like, we leave the plot for like two minutes. You know what? Maybe the DLC makes that game better. We'll have to see one day. We'll have to see. But that day and today. But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a marble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. So you want me to kill Morble? <sighs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary Morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the Morble, I fear... Ordinary may not suffice, but as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Yeah. Uh yeah i know i've heard that and then they just and it was supposed to be continued in both uh episode ariana and episode luna freya and then tabata left the company and then they canceled every single thing that happened in 15. so you'll never see the game's conclusion what do moguls taste like moguls i don't know Okay, so they could since Moogles typically eat nuts. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tons of They have to be at least somewhat good to eat because at least they're herbivores and usually herbivores are very good at, at like with meat. But yeah, hmm. I don't know. What do you think that thing looks would taste like? Uh, I heard your brother is a fan of Karis, Kupo. If ever Karen Rosaria is anything like the one I just got posted on the board, I can see why, Kupo. 
Okay. B carrot. Uh, uh, red carrot protruding from the marshes of three reeds. Do not attempt to pull it from the swampy soil. It is, in truth, another root vegetable entirely. An exotic species of morbid that uses a modified carrot like vine to lure play prey close. Hmm. Uh, damn. Uh, Whispering Waters Rosaria. Oh, uh, where would that be? Ah. I'd fuck a moogle. Hold it like a flashlight. Why? I have other things I probably should play. No! Like, I, I need to play, um, on stream Yakuza yeah. 6 sometime before October. Or was it, was it September? I need to have that, like, done before September. Because the man who sold his name, or erased his name, is, um, coming out then. Straight home now. Play the fucking game. No, I want you to rap. No. There it is. Jill asks, can't we just have normal sex tonight? Clive answers, no. Now put on the Moogle costume again. It couldn't have been just any Moogle, could it? All right then. Oh, wow. Actually, it doesn't even seem to be that high of a level. down throw that out throw that out gonna kill in one shot that's what sucks it's kind of hoping that would kill him one oh well I think that's a kind of weirdest part when it comes to just this game because there's not a lot I mean Jill kind of works because she has some great moments, but I kind of like Mitt's personality Never mind that she kind of reminds me of a certain other I guess technically Welsh um, character from another RPG series one that talks about funny one-eyed monsters well, not talks about Who you would do? Huh? Yeah, I know. But Jill's for Clive. It's it's kind of like that that entire thing of. Ah, uh, I was hoping the tornado would have. Try. Hmm. Would have brought him down to halfway. 
on the stagger. Would you please settle down, you stupid fucking morble? There we go. Oh, he's not close enough to the um lightning rod. No, 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 no. You know what? I can kill. Oops. No, don't do your wild rage. Fine. I want to. Get stunned, get stunned, get stunned, get stunned. Get stunned, get stunned, get stunned. Get stunned, get stunned, get stunned. Honestly, it's redheads for me, but. How's I Ataria? There really isn't much in that regard. What does Welsh mean? Welsh is a country. It's from Wales. Well, actually, they're part of the United Kingdom. Okay. Oh, definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Okay. Well, no. First, I need to. Let's see. There's other places I need to go, though. Uh, from here. Yeah, I guess it's better to use lo go to Lost Wing. If Linfrey was a redhead, would you be more forgiving of her character? Probably not. Like, but she has like n next to no character. Especially in the game. Who's the Welsh go to Jill? Oh, uh, not Jill. Not what mid is the Welsh. Mid has a very Welsh um, voice. And I was thinking of Nia from like Xenoblade. Specifically two. I'll ignore these gobble ends. I'm hey, wondering hmm. what is a Welsh voice? Mia from Xenoblade 2? Yes, that is specifically Welsh. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, if you ever girls. heard N Nia's English VA, that is what a Welsh person set girl sounds like. Or if you listen to. What? What are you. What happened there? You know, I should just like Constantly fire shit off. I really love that stupid goddamn tornado. Yeah. 
No. Oh, wait. Oh, but. Uh, I bring Welsh cat, bloody hell. Welsh are famed for their fucking sheep. I think so? I don't know. Being honest, when I first was in play, I thought they were going. Xeno Blade Chronicles Rodrigo will have prepared the is we really now. weird because the, the first game is I feel like it because it, it has some really grounded moments it, it has some really grounded moments um And then, like, you get to his end, and then it's like, what the fuck? What are you talking? Oh, holy fucking shit. And then you get to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Selling. And you're like, wait, how does this fit in with Xenoblade Chronicles 1? And you don't get Anything to see else? that until, like, the very end. Of course. And then y'all see at least a portion of 3, at very least a cuck moment. It's I not never random. I into it because of my autism. What is Xenoblade and such? It's a sequel to Xenogears, right? Okay, so y yes and no. Do y'all? I hope y'all are familiar with Shin Megami Tensei. Not Persona, run like the wind, but specifically the main series. In the main series of T uh, Shin Megami Tensei SMT, um, it's kind of a multiverse. And a lot of... There's something that you see in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 that is a direct reference to something that's in um, both Xenosaga and Xenogears, at the very least. So they're all connected in a weird way via, like, a multiverse. Xenogears, I kind of want to eventually like get around to playing. But first, I still need to go and probably beat the DLC to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 that I've been pushing off for like the last two months. You see fucking, um... See, um... Dead already. No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. I played a bit of Xenosaga and I just liked the robot the with the giant tutus. Well, Maybe I wasn't the target audience. You are so nicely. I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. Jesus Christ oh is a main character within the Xenogears. Just... No, not Xenogears, Xenoblade. Oh, uh, no, not Xenoblade, Xenosaga. Just... Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, Promise it's not the game series punch. made by the guy who made... That'd well... Enough, yeah. uh... I know you're doing it. I know you're doing it. Go on, then. To be like that, Sean, but no, please don't do that. Much obliged. Uh, is stealing sheep was is stealing sheep was punished more harshly than bestiality in wells. Huh. So this is Dravaged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. I don't think Clive is good with people. There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. No, I'm not playing Persona 1. Then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. And if I, I do it. play Persona 1, I have to trans uh, track down the fan patch because I am not playing the one that was originally localized. Good luck. You'll be needing it. 
But no, I have never played Persona 1. In fact, let's see, I've played uh, Persona five, 3. How are we gonna earn our key? More specifically, like Persona 3 Portable, but I stopped mm -hmm. like halfway through. And then I played Persona 4, and then I played Persona 5. But I also have played Strange Journey, uh, oh, SMT4, God. and Those Apocalypse. Flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals! I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. You should make this an emote. Hmm. Which one? Whack. Family Guy, Death Post, Penis Falls Downstairs, da 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 da. All you have to do is upload it to 7TV. If you can find it on 7TV, I can add it. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. Money. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. What I mean the is, is suppose yourself doing it and have that be a subscriber emote. Ah. Uh. It wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. Mm. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. I'd rather just get someone to draw that. On. So. I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest, and you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. 
I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by our... I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two, would you, August? Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed ant. Time for a spot of hunt. Cool. Killing sentiments. What do you add it? Hmm? Mm, probably not. Hmm. It's it's more or less like if I get around to looking at stuff and seeing what other people have had, maybe adding it to my own channel. Is that thing still following me? Let's make this quick, shall we? God, it just... Can Straight I dismount? Okay. Okay, it finally decided to fuck Too off. Slow. Because it's just going to get staggered. And dead. Wait, can you fight while in your chocobo? You can. You can kick. It's not like a full-on fight. Yeah, that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. But the chocobo can attack. It just does a kick, but you can't just fight fight. Wait, what am I doing? This thing has a fast travel point. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. Ah! God damn it. I hate that like most of the time when it comes to this, it's um right the bloody um Maverick Hunter work. X models. If one pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. The Mega Man Mavericks. No it doesn't. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravosht is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh... Take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? 
What is it? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosh didn't need it, but he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. All right. I should put everything back here. One, two, and three. Oh, what mean? No, they didn't do that. I mean, I kind of understand why, because you would be severely limiting what you're doing. Considering how this game is um, structured. Just to have like one or two swings on your sword. Thank goodness you're back. Paya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yeah, but it's not fresh. Go, go get more. Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but... Talia's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain. And all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but... It is death, nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. I don't take all the emos from the Albanian. I take some from Colt too. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents, to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless, until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next. Never knowing which might be your last. 
A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift give the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Oh, hey. I just realized that I probably have enough for the next tier of Renown. So, how much? Let's see. I want to see. Help you today, Clive. Okay, yeah, this is the final tier of stuff. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty. Oof. Oh, there's a lot more side quests, aren't there? Sixteen thirty-five. Nineteen sixty-five. Twenty-three sixty-five. Best of luck out there, Sid. I'm wondering... Oh. There it is, the fear that... I heard that as soon as you if get to like the finale, the there's like 10 side quests that just pop up. Shirley, how can we learn to... And I was thinking that was going to be an over-exaggeration, but it doesn't look like it. Did you help commit a Canadian health count on that man? Um, uh, no. All I did was ease the pain before before the fucking shit take took him. We did, we didn't give assisted suicide. We just eased the pain before they died of the stupid curse. Uh, Sid, what a shame. Uh, uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be a me. Sure. It is a grave insult to tell someone to get Canadian healthcare in place. It kind of is, isn't it? Mmm. Made yourself now. <laughs> it is just as I hoped. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us sit. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. Oh, have a good night, Rock. Getting the good stuff <laughs> from your Dela. Yeah, I am. If adding from the da, da, create necessary for further increasing consumable potency. Compo consumable potency maximized. Uh, both potions, high potions that restore even more HP while strength, stone skin, and lionheart tonics last even longer. All right. We do blacksmith blues, and I probably have to do that one other, um... I'm just looking for one second, just to make sure there isn't just, like, another side quest waiting for me. Has made it home in one piece? Yeah, well, 
We didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan Ace. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. <laughs> Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form. We did form. it. We boosted the fucking Blackthorn's confidence a third I'm fucking time. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to we stroked his ego his yet again. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan can let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Oh, Ouroboros Design Draft. Ouroboros. <laughs> chaos. Not chaos. What do you want? Okay, so... What do I need for it? Stone Tongue. Complete. Global. As well as the stained loincloth. So, over here, or calcum. So, I have no idea what that's. Chaos. I'm not sure where I get those outside of. That it? Fine. If it's uh, knowledge you seek, let's see. Odds are it's another hunt somewhere soon. Uh, boop, boop. I'm full on everything except oh for that, that potion. I don't oh, want don't. that potion. I'm not much bothered either way. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Doesn't seem like there's any new hunts either. Seems like we can finish the Song of Hope. Cole said it wasn't but I do want to grab this. Expecting you back. Fitting performance. Natalie reports an unexpected surplus in Dallin Mill stores as a means of showing the town's gratitude for past assistance has expressed her distinct her distinct wish that one Lord Underhill partake in the good fortune Victor. Here you are. Only thing good is the fucking uh, uh, shit. So 1965. So like it. almost an entire fucking um Drive. Anything catch your eye? Anything okay, you all of those are not there. Uh, I don't care about ability, sitting on any abilities right this second. Um, okay. World map. The ironworks. We get to see whatever the fuck this is. Torical, 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 torical. Our right 
Clive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INAR is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Eh? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! <sighs> Everyone with me? <laughs> Here they come! Damn, that's a lot. Wait, did I just knock them out of bounds? That felt like I knocked them out of bounds. Hey, work a little hard. I am working plenty hard. This is going to be a pretty kind of short level. Whoops. Eh, 
you don't need to do the DT. Just. Yeah, enemy slain. Look at that. You would think. That was easy enough. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. Oh, it's you again. But, but I thought he was confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man. But the creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me. The Executioner. Or was it my axe? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Way anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. Tis you are just giving me enough time to space. test your mithril engine thrust in the sheet. not fall easily, yes. but they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. They just keep coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. What? God damn it. I'm just gonna keep okay. Cool. Should we make for the ship? You suck! Not yet. Wait for my signal. Why Why was it two boxes in a row? God damn it. I mean fucking buckets. Buckets. In your own time, Clive. Right, run for it. Enterprise escaped. It is scopade. Now 
mate! You have wings, jackass. Shh. They earn higher. That is definitely kind of a Norse esque boast. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Why are you just parked? Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> Cheerio. Oh, yeah. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Shit. Meanwhile, in Twinside. Oh, hi, Dion. What are you doing here? Why are you just. God, mercy. What the 
fight on. <gasps> oh, hey, it's the potion girl again. My lord. Oh, we have to do another one, don't we? Hmm. Hmm. Zava, someone is arguing with me about the top Twitch streamers, saying they are greasy guys who eat their toenails. What? My position is they have teams of five people helping them prepare for their streams. Which what? is it? I don't know because I cannot comment about like uh, other streamers. Yeah, I think we'll save this for tomorrow. So we're on the ship, but we'll save that for tomorrow. Good thing there's a. Let's make sure. Let's once again make sure. 73% of the way through the game If I return hit return to game it will pop me where I need to be usually Yeah, okay making sure All right Oh wait tomorrow's just more Final Fantasy 16 hopefully some by the end of the week um Hopefully by the end of the week we'll beat it. I'm hey, not sure. Work a little harder. But I mean, at seventy-five percent plus all of those side quests, you should, no. Yeah, we we should be able to beat it. If not Shut by up, Friday, man. by Sunday of next week. Um, who can we go? I'm gonna say harass. All oh, right. Um, mm -hmm. oh, never mind. Not, not. Nah, nah. I was about to raid someone into that, but they're raiding. Um, I think what is what are you doing? Hmm. How long is this supposed to be? Let's see. Are they stopping? You know what? Uh, bu 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 bu. I'm going to raid into this one. A person that we haven't... I think we've raided into them once before. Uh, not hate raid. Not ra mint raid. Uh, we're going to raid into the Captain Jelly. Um, he's doing a celebration of 500 followers. So we're going to raid into him. How about that? Anyways, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Stay safe. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Final Fantasy 16. Have a good night.